Hey and welcome to Discard. Today I'm going to talk about wooden veneers for your handhelds and your large home consoles. These are coming from Rose Colored Gaming and have a lot of really cool features that I think people should take a look at. So would you use these in your collection? Let's take a look. So to start things off, Rose Color Gaming isn't per se necessarily only making veneers out of wood. They make veneers out of all sorts of different things, including mahogany, walnut, paddock, stone, which is pretty interesting. That looks like an interesting thing to test out in the future. And what I believe is plastic or acrylic. But today I'm gonna to be talking about wood and a little bit of inlay that Rose Colored Gaming has gone out of its way to insert into some of these awesome wood designs. Now what makes wood so good? Well. Wood has this premium feel to it that can't be surpassed by anything. Really, wood has a grain to it that can't be copied or mimicked by anything else. Wood is its own thing. And when you put your fingers on wood, it feels really good. You feel the pattern, you feel all the little pores in that wood, and it just makes for an incredibly good looking and premium soft looking product. So I guess it's only natural that Rose Colored Gaming would be jumping into wood as some sort of a material for them to use in their display products. Keep in mind, these are veneers. And at first, a lot of people might cringe at the thought of veneer. They may be thinking about that table that had the, the wood kind of peeling off the edge. And, and you're right, that's kind of what this is. This is a thin piece of wood that's attached with an adhesive to whatever it is you're putting it on. I will say that this is a premium product. This is done very well. And the adhesive is incredibly sticky, so much so that you may have trouble doing a couple retries when you're putting these onto your items. But yeah, essentially this is just a really heavy duty, super sticky sticker that you attach to your items that has some premium items on it. Now the first item that I really wanted to test out was the veneer for the 8-bit Doe Super Nintendo controller. I have a bunch of these and I really stand by them when it comes to playing your Super Nintendo or your analog systems. This is a fantastic controller but if you add this to it, it can turn it into something completely different. Now, without having any footage for this, because I was just too crazy to, to stop and take some video of it, you just peel off the back, off the sticker on the back sides of these, and then you apply it to where it needs to go. Now, keep that in mind, because you may have trouble lining this up perfectly the first time, and all that means is before you completely get this thing on, you get it about halfway on, if you feel like you're not lined up, then slowly pull it back. You gotta keep in mind that the, the surface of this, this wood surface, is a thin, more of a hard structure. So if you were to completely bend this back, you're gonna crack the wood, you're gonna bend it the wrong way, and it's gonna cause some problems. So just take your time putting these on, and you'll have no issues whatsoever. But once applied, this just creates an incredible dopamine rush of how beautiful this item is. I mean, take a look at this Super Nintendo controller and tell me it's not fantastic. You get this really nice custom premium design to your Super Nintendo controller. The wood is on there when you're playing with this controller and it's in your hands, you know that you have wood on the front of your controller. It feels really good. You're feeling those lines, those pores in the wood, and it's just fantastic. There's no issue with the buttons being interfered with when it comes to using this item because it's only raising it up just a slight amount and certainly not far enough to impinge any sort of playing problems. And for some reason, this kind of clear controller mixed with this wood design has just a really nice premium look. I would imagine it looks really good with the gray too because the gray and the wood design, as you can see later on some of the other items that I tested, looks fantastic and very premium as well. I think the only thing that might set people off and may turn people away is that there is a rose colored gaming logo right front and center. It doesn't seem to bother me and, and the design itself looks right at home sitting there in the center of the Super Nintendo controller. I don't really notice it per se, and when I do look at it, it looks like it belongs there, so it doesn't really cause me any issues. But this is definitely turning an item into a premium item very quickly with just applying this essentially a sticker, but it's a veneer, at around seven to eight dollars depending on what option and what type of wood you pick. This is a fantastic upgrade if you're looking for just a premium showpiece to, that's playable.
Now the next item I grabbed, because it's one of these things that a lot of people who have Nintendo Switches have, and it just comes completely plain black. But in this case, the Nintendo Switch dock, unless you've gotten one of these special editions like the Animal Crossing special edition, or one of these kind of lackluster special editions that have come out for these other brands, you're left with kind of a uh, boring surface. In comes Rose Colored Gaming with these laser cut wood veneers that look amazing. I picked out a Zelda design that has a Triforce on it and it's just an incredible piece to look at. There are other designs that are just flat wood with no designs on them, but if you go for this, it's a little bit more expensive, but you get these nice little inlay pieces that go on there. They are what I believe is acrylic with a gold surface on them. They did even add an extra little triangle in the box, so if one of these happened to fall off in shipping or something, I had an extra one to apply. But outside of just the Triforce, there's this nice kind of hillian lines that have been added in these circles around the Triforce and of course the overall design around the Triforce itself in these very intricate details. I'm not exactly sure how they went about to add these lines to it, but it looks perfect. It looks like it's been burnt into the wood and looks fantastic. Now, like I said earlier, a lot of people want these black boxes and these things that kind of blend in in their game collections. And this certainly doesn't blend in as much as just a black box sitting there on your shelf, but I would say wood has this way of kind of ninjaing its way into a game collection and sitting there and kind of being out of sight, out of mind, until you happen to look at it and get this wonderful dopamine rush of this beautiful item. I mean, the lines that they put on here, the inlay, all of the beautiful wood grain and pores, just the feeling of this dock when you go to place your switch into the dock, you can't help but stop and want to feel this surface and just see what it's like. Now this dock cover certainly comes in a lot higher than other covers or socks that you can get out there. This is $30, but they do have a slightly less costly version, which is just the plain wood version. This is has inlay and other designs on it, so keep that in mind. This is incredibly premium and turns your dock into a display piece. Lila, I sing the song for you, you're beautiful, even when you're down. Never talk yourself out of it, Lila. It's all inside your head. Eleanor Roosevelt said, No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. So let your light shine without holding it in. Love yourself. And the last item that I purchased to be tested was a Game Boy Advance. And this is certainly not the last but least situation. This is the one that makes me feel the best out of any of these designs, out of any of these inlays and other items. This is the thing. I have a very big soft spot in my heart for Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, just Game Boy games in general. I love them, I love displaying them, I love playing them. There are so many different cool gems in the Game Boy library. So when it came down to creating a custom Game Boy Advance, that had a backlight in it and was completely premium looking, I had to try to use one of these wood veneers and figure out a way to kind of balance the colors there. In the end, it's a very simple design. I went with a gray shell, some gray buttons in there, and I simply just attached the veneer to the front. And I, and I contemplated changing the button colors, adding more items to this, because really when you're into making something, you just want to add more and more and make it better and better but I decided to stop because there's something special that happens when you add these kind of faded colors together. You get to see all these different tones of the colors on the item. And when you put this on a shelf, you get really beautiful shadows kind of playing off of all the gray. And now this kind of bright wood veneer that's been attached to the front. Now the veneer itself, of course, is made out of that wood. It has that nice sticker backing that's super sturdy and it also has two different pieces of wood involved in this situation. You have the overall piece, which covers most of the front of the Game Boy Advance, and you also have this kind of inner piece that goes around where you would normally see the name of the console and it surrounds the lens. I think this was an excellent choice by them. It's better than having just one big piece that's all the same color across. It adds a little bit of different coloration there and adds to just overall great looks. Now, just like before, this is a very thin piece of veneer that goes on there. Just make sure you're putting it on the right way the first time when you're about halfway through. Double check you're all lined up and you're going on properly because it's very hard to get this off when it's all said and done. I myself had to do this one three times. I'd get about halfway through 
and see that buttons weren't quite lined up in the right circles and and the edges weren't lining up perfectly but once I got it to about perfect I felt pretty good about how this looked like overall. The gray and the wood look fantastic together but the feel of this console it's really what sells it for me. That feel feels fantastic in your hands moving your fingers across this wooden surface. It's very smooth, it's incredibly sanded so you're not going to get splinters or any other crazy stuff from this kind of veneer but it does have that nice surface value of those lines and those knots and those pieces and pores that are in wood that you just can't get anywhere else. I mean, if they made it in plastic, it just would never replicate what you can do with real wood. But I'm definitely sure that this is one of the centerpieces of my game collection, at least for me. And I think that's what's important when you're looking at your own game room. Find something that you really care about, that you're really into, make it the best it possibly can, and then put that thing on display and make it a big center point of your game collection. And remember, Rose Colored Gaming has these for all sorts of different consoles. They get them for PS4s and Xboxes and the next gen Xboxes out there, GameCube covers. They're covering a lot of different stuff. So be sure to go and check the website often to see what they're upgrading with, what they're adding to the website. A lot of times something will come out and just disappear off the website forever. So keep that in mind as well. You may want to follow one of their social medias just so you can keep in tune as to what they're working on. But overall, my take from this is if you're looking to upgrade kind of a messed up shell or a messed up console and you want to reshell it or you're working on a new shelled console, this might be a really nice way to add a nice little flavor to it. I know that part of the audience out there is going to look at this and think that it's a dangerous item for consoles. It's definitely not a good thing for first party stuff. You might be ruining stuff by attaching this to it and all those people may be correct. So keep that in mind. We just don't know what the effects of adhesive are on consoles and different plastics, etc. But fortunately, what this channel is all about is collect what you love. So if you love making really cool consoles, adding veneers to things, making super special things for a limited time in your game collection, this might be the perfect thing for you. I know I certainly love doing this to some of my Game Boy Advances and the Switch dock, etc. I may not feel as confident when putting it on a larger console, especially newer consoles. But overall, I just did the stuff that I knew that I would love in the long run and really enjoy looking at. So you do you. No matter what, no matter what anybody else says in the comments, anyone says in your town or your house or wherever you're at, collect what you love because that's what it's all about. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. But outside of that, just have a fantastic day. You do you and collect what you love. They say love is free, but it's more than you can see. It's a song, it's a melody, it's the beat of you.